Who's up for a lock-in? The pub. Welcome <laughs> to the pub. <laughs> it's your pub. It's oh, your it pub. Are you jealous much? Are you jealous? I, th I think so. You're in your own little <laughs> snugs. That's like a, that's how I think we should look at it. Let's They're just imagine. Snug this is just a sofa in our lounge. Yeah. You're on a sofa in your lounge. I hope you've all got a drink. Cheers. Anybody? Anybody doing dry January? <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you are doing dry, dry January, just let's say it's the thir 31st. Mm -hmm. So let's just accept that it's the 1st of February in Australia. Go off Australia's clocks. Come on. And then you can have a drink now tonight. Come on, join Jump us. Jump ahead a few times. Tom, zones and pour yourself a drink. We've got some nibbles as well. It's always good to have some nibbles and some drinks in the pub. But welcome to the inaugural episode of Steve and Tom's Lock-In. Very exciting. We've got so much planned, haven't we? So much planned, and we want we you have. to be involved. That's the most important part. We have. We've got some celebrity friends who are going to be joining us. We're going to have some fun chat. We're going to have some drinks. We're going to have some silliness. We're going to play a few games, and then we're going to all end on a high with pumping some music out and just ending, Tunes, Tom. Tunes. ending an hour of entertainment with a banger. Absolutely. And uh, like you said, get in touch. We've got a hashtag. We have everything has a hashtag these days. If you do want to get in touch, please hashtag Stephen Tom. Stephen Tom's locking. If, right if you're watching us on YouTube right now, if you're watching us on YouTube, please. There, uh, there. So, there. <laughs> you're right there. I'm trying to just. <laughs> Earlier on in rehearsal, it worked perfectly when I went there. Now I'm going it's to. There. It's there. <laughs> if you're watching us on YouTube, there. please subscribe to our channel this and uh, you can chat to there. us and we can there. see what you're saying on here. So send us a hi. Tell us what you're drinking. We've already seen a few of our friends who are popping up to say hello. So thank you so much for tuning in. But we wanted to create, if you were with us in the summer and you saw some of the garden party, we felt like it was time to bring something similar back. And we thought, what a better place to do it than a venue where we all miss, somewhere that is close to our hearts in this country, isn't it? And uh, we found out a way so that we could get inside the building and... <laughs> And I'm drinking a pub. We go with real beer and everything. <laughs> oh, unbelievable! Because let's be honest, it's not been the best of years, has it, Tom? No, it's not been the best of years. 2020. We were hoping 2021. We're going to be brilliant. Absolutely. Didn't we? we all oh, got through 2020, on. didn't we? Vaccines we got out. to the finish line. We thought we're going to get to Christmas, and then 2021, it's going to be turning over a new leaf, a new chapter, and then January came, the longest January in history. Oh, and what did it feel Lord. like? This is what it felt like. I go through me every time. Aja dub jao teri aankhon ke wo sun mein. Oh my days! That's January right there. This is a belter. I love his reaction. What's his reaction? Just dance him. <laughs> <laughs> This is my favourite. This is my favourite. This is it. Oh. There you go. You, <laughs> you see, could... that's what 2021 feels like. It's been like now a this slap one. in the face. This one, that, that is in every plan to my mind. You can know on. Every kitchen scene, I want to put that in. <laughs> so we thought, you know, we all need to have a laugh, don't we? We've probably all done TV. We've finished Netflix. We've finished Amazon Prime. We've finished whatever there is left on Sky. So uh, we wanted to create something fresh and something new for you to have a little bit of a giggle with us and for all, us all to feel like we're in the pub together. Oh, Kevin Hilton's message, he says, what pub are you in? Just getting me caught on, I'm afraid. It's a <laughs> bit of an exclusive pub, is this one? Uh, I'd love to invite you down, mate. Your, uh, your name's not down, Kevin, you're not coming in. Stay in the back room where you belong, <laughs> Kevin. Stay in the back room. But we Ian have got Felton. some friends with us in this place because... Uh, this is not just any old pub, is it, Steve? It's not just any old. It's, it's a spooky. It's a haunted pub. <laughs> it's a bit it's of a, a spooky pub. pub. 
It is genuinely... There's flickery lights and there's some oh, so lady called Winnie who's hanging around. So, please do uh, let us know if, if anything happens. If anybody pops up during the night, then uh, don't be surprised. Look at, look at the nuts floating in me there. <laughs> but now, people can get in touch with me. We want them to do something specific, don't we, Tom? Because you discovered yes. something on your phone. And I, I didn't did. know this. I, I did. didn't know this. So, did you know that um, if you have got a, a fruit-based phone device, we're not on like BBC, this. so we can talk about Apple iPhones. Loads of people have got these, haven't they? Yes. You know, if you go into your photo, Photos app. So if you open your phone now and you go into your photos app, there's a search. Doing just that. Uh, there's a search thing on it's it. A search. And you can actually put word searches in, and it'll bring up all the photos that are linked to that word search. So if you put in water or sunshine or something like that, it might bring up photos of when you're on holiday by the sea, on the slopes, different things like that. So we want you to go into your phone and open the photos app, and we want you to search the word pub and see what comes up on your photo history of anything that's linked to pub. And then we want you to send your favorite photograph in. So you can send it to us via Twitter or Facebook. You can send it to LRC Productions on there and make sure you put the hashtag Steve and Tom's lock in. And then we're gonna pick our favorite three photos of your pub photos um, by the end of the day. You've got 45 minutes to do that. Yeah, we'll say it'd be brilliant. We've got some celebrities that you've met in pubs and things like that. The best one, choose your best one. I didn't even know that thing worked. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, it does probably Oh, the wonders of modern technology, I typed Steve. In, just to prove it works, I typed in tits into mine, <laughs> and I've got 26 pictures of Tom. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> you see? So, Not because <laughs> I have breasts, just because just he thinks I'm a you bit are. of a tit. Absolutely. <laughs> it didn't need spelling out, but well done. <laughs> now, how are we all getting on? You know, right, we're going to try really hard over this next hour to not mention the dreaded C word. Yes. All right, but you know, my wife is struggling because the, the hairdressers is short and like, let's be honest, we've all got locked down hair and we all really don't know what to do with it. Do we, Steve? I'm not involved in this conversation, am I? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, don't think worry, I'm involved ladies. at all. Don't worry, because a friend of ours, Jane Sharp, she has just come along. She sent us a little video to give you a tip of how to cope with your locked down hairdo. Let's watch this. Hi, guys. Whilst we're all on lockdown and all the beauty salons are closed, I just wanted to do a little video offering some hair care advice just to try and keep it nice and neat and under control until they open again. So we're going to start off by brushing the <laughs> Well, at least the collars match the cuffs, as they say. Tom, at least the collars match the cuffs. And the level cuffs. has dropped already in the first I five minutes I think we should recuperate by doing something a bit eyebrow. Really? Or should we have a, oh, some is it news eyebrow items? Eyebrow or eyebrow? It's not eyebrow. Highbrow, it's definitely isn't it? highbrow. Highbrow. It's right. time for the news. At least I've got a highbrow. Okay, yes, the latest news. We have the latest news. We tried to say, basically, if you didn't put that C word into the news, these are the kind of stories that might make it into the news. So we've. We live in a funny, funny world nowadays. We we just... So here we go. Uh, right, first up, we've got a woman from Moscow has married. A briefcase. As you do. This is a true story. Uh, Rain Gordon, she's called, and she says she's always been interested in inanimate objects. Nothing new there. I married a right old bag. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can we come up put... <laughs> I, I, just to get him out of that, that, I wrote that and I didn't uh, give did. it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed! Oh, that's on my script and not on yours. I, I've got to dig at my wife in a minute. All right, don't, don't worry. We've all, we've all got an equal share. Can we put a picture of that? But can I put, can I put the picture back on? Now, look, can I just say, she's made an effort for her wedding day. <laughs> Mr. The Mr. Briefcase has done very little. <laughs> if anything, he's turned to his own when he's naked. I, I don't think any, and it's, it looks like an old briefcase as well. It's I a old, flight case. It is more of a flight case, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. She's Sturdy. more of a flight case. Keep your valuables safe. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a it funny old world. Five year old as well. What have you got? But anyway, what else? Other news. Police in Las Vegas have arrested a man they found clinging to the wing of an Alaska Airlines jet on the tarmac. Online footage shows the man shimmying along the wing as passengers stir out the window. <laughs> now, this got me thinking, because I'm sure, Tom, didn't you once mount a jet? No. Which one of the gladiators was it then? <laughs> <laughs> it was the wolf. <laughs> was it was it? Hunter. Oh, okay. Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> what would you be if you were gladiating it? I've always got, I'm, I know mine. Shall uh, I tell you mine? Uh, go on then. I'll be the whippet, because I've run, I've run like that, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Steve the Whippet. <laughs> That'd be mine. What's your gladiator name? Uh, uh, wet. 
<laughs> there you go. Bringing excitement to the <laughs> Gladiator <laughs> Arena every week. Right then, here we go. Moist a woman, be uh, than him. <laughs> a woman in Canada has been yeah. fined for breaking her COVID curfew. Sorry for mentioning the word there. Again, yeah. But she's taken her husband out for a walk on a lead. True story. When stopped by the police, she, came that her pa- she claimed that her partner was in fact a dog. It was not. Later, the case was thrown out of court, but her husband ran and fetched it back. <laughs> that's my favourite. That's a, <laughs> come on, we're having that one. That was a, oh, that's two you're Ronnies. You're really proud of that. Aren't that's you? worthy of the two Ronnies themselves. <laughs> that is, look, James. James's message saying, "Wow." I mean, assume it's only for that joke. Absolutely. <laughs> a bodybuilder, bu- right? Um, a bodybuilder, a bodybuilder who married a sex. Do- oh, by the way, can I just say, on, in terms of the lady claiming that her husband was a dog. Yeah. I reckon just before they went out, there was an argument and she went, I'm just sick of picking up your shit. <laughs> uh, at which point, you might as well, I might as well have a dog. And then she's leashed him and that's what I'm gonna. But if that was me, and my wife knows that I did, she wouldn't dare do something like that to me, walk me, because she knows within five minutes I've embarrassed her by being a dog. And I'd be stopping at every lamppost and sniffing blokes asses as I go around and just, just because you give me a label, I'm going to play up to absolutely, it. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. So this is we'll a nice one. desperate to muzzle you. A, a bodybuilder. Body, bodybuilder. Well, ups, often when I look at you, I yeah, think of yeah, the word of bodybuilder. Have you, got the, have you got the time, Tom? <laughs> well, the toilet's through over there. <laughs> a bodybuilder who married a sex doll has revealed... <laughs> She tragically broke just before Christmas. Oh, There's a bit. Dear. Oh, look, he's gutted what in it. What a oh, world man. we live in. For oh, goodness man. sake. It might have been a huge letdown for him, but she must have felt deflated too. Hey! Thank you. Thank you. Another one. Back of the net. We're all night. Oh. We're not. We're only here for an hour. Don't worry. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Other, and finally. And finally. What have we got? Hey, and finally. Uh, a psychic who uses asparagus to see into the future. <laughs> Uh, there she is. There's you the psychic. You may have seen her on this morning. Yeah. Um, I think she's... First what coming... a world we live in. Well, uh, well, apparently, she's called Jemima Packington, <laughs> and she's warned that Prince Harry may return to the UK next year, but without Meghan. Now... Uh, what news? What the reason, news? Well, the reasoning behind this, right, is she says... She says... she Basically, she gets the asparagus and chucks it in the air, yeah. and whatever shapes they make, mm-hmm. that's how she makes it. Apparently, there was... And a two that are distinctly joined together, making an H. Three of them, rather. There, there, there. So you've got the H, but there was no M. Well, there's a surprise, isn't it? It's easy to do that, isn't it? They're going to land that. They're not going to M end in a big M. She's, er- she's earning millions off, off skills like that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But it did get me thinking. Yes. And I think I have a little bit of this. Pa- it's by, by the way, it's called a sparomancy. <laughs> asparomancy, that's what it is, reading. Asparomancy. So, oh, I thought asparomancy is predicting what the prices will be in your local convenience store, but it's not. It's not a pie. Asparomancy. And tyromancy, do you know what tyromancy is? Something to do with tyres. No, tyromancy. Divination using cheese. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who read the veins in cheese. I'm sure there are. <laughs> anyway. What I thought I'd do is use the powers that I've been gifted, and as it's a haunted pub that we're in, yes. I thought I would see whether my powers and the powers of the spirits with it. <laughs> if something goes wrong now, I'm probably going to be a believer, right? <laughs> so behind you, Tom, if you just look up yes. earlier, we had oh, in just for you a tin of Alphabetti spaghetti. Oh, no it's expense that spared. Of, well, I'm thinking like bringing it up to date. You know, yeah. people are reading cheese and asparagus. That's you know, that's the Middle Ages. Get with it. There we are, some alphabet. So tip the tip a few on. Right, right. Now tip right now, separate a few. You, you've got you've got to give it your powers first. What? Well you're the one Rub with the powers. Rub your fingers into it like that. You're the one with the powers. Oh, no, well you yeah, but you've got to you, you I can't touch it. Yeah, you but it's your it. future. No, well, it's your future. It. I haven't touched it. You right, you touch them. But get the first first eight letters. Oh, no, I've got to flip in this job. First eight letters, first put them on side. What eight letters? Right, I'm oh, seeing O. There's a lot of O's. There's a lot of O's. Because it's a haunted pub. Ooh, can you read that? Look. Ooh, ooh. It works. What Spooky. is it? Oh, you're joking. Flipping spaghetti hoops, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was alphabetic spaghetti. I want, but, but, I, 
I'm, I'm I picked up the wrong tin. Yeah, I'm, I'm a picked flipping up the idiot. Wrong tin. Oh my days! Don't worry, that's it. If we move on from here, um, we have got more tips <laughs> for you. Spaghetti Mansi. How, how? Spaghetti Mansi. Can... That's what that one is. <laughs> <laughs> We've got more course. tips of how you can get through lock-in. Just watch this. That's the news. Welcome to I Survives with me, Keith Ives. some of the most hostile environments in the world. Iceland, for example. Curries, and even a brief spell at Amazon. But right now, we're facing a global pandemic on an unprecedented scale that is pushing us all to the limits. What are you talking about, Keith? I'll tell you, homeschooling. It's not easy being a single dad like me. Sometimes, I mean, to occupy the kids for up to eight hours every fortnight. But homeschooling has taken these pressures to a whole new level. It's tough enough getting your kids to decide what they're going to have on the McDonald's menu, let alone decide what the square root of, say, 144 is. Well, 12. It's 12! Anyway, in this series of videos, I aim to give you some bite-sized nuggets, I say nuggets deliberately there, to stick with the McDonald's analogy, to help you do the homeschooling. Could do a bit serious, I think it could do a bit serious of four, like six and twenty. Not like they do it. Might not they do four episodes then. Stop that then. Today's top tip: the naughty step. The naughty steps don't work, Keith. They do, but you have to use them correctly. When my kids kick off, I'm straight on it. You both be very, very naughty. Daddy's going to the naughty step. Use correctly. A naughty step can be a little safe haven for yourself. A piece of peace amongst the chaos of your own life. I have mine set up with comforters, like a flask of coffee or something stronger, a box of snacks, even a TV to keep me occupied while the chaos ensues in the kitchen. More top tips on homeschooling next week on I've Survived with me, Keith Dye. Cheers. Oh, yes. Oats, brambles, berries, even bits of wood and full fat milk. Cheers. Very clever man. A very clever. I feel like I've got. I feel like I've got a mental bond with that fella. Well done, Keith. You know, Bear Grylls, Ray Mears, They've got nothing on him. More to come Absolutely. from Keith in the future. Absolutely. But it's time for us to move on to inviting some of our friends here into this pub. Now we uh, thought with this being the first show, one guest landlady is just not enough. We oh. decided we're going to pull out all the stops for you, and we're going to get two. We're going to have two ladies, and if you may have seen on our social media and know already who they are, but if you don't know who they are, here is a little bit of seeing them do what they do best. Hey, it's Rob Dennis. Oh, is that what Rascal want now? Scattering in Blackpool. He's, de he's dead. Well, they'd have a heck of a job get him in there if he wasn't. Oh, oh dear. The cheek of it. When he drove off with that scheming cow, Gloria, any obligations I had to him ended. Give him to me, I'll flush him down, Lou. Oh, you can't do that. You'll block up the system. And what would a plumber say if he saw human remains in your U bend? Have him, by the way. And I'm thirsty. So come on. Oh, you've lied. You stole your rock. You shouldn't keep cashing that pot, then it's so obvious. You're not even sorry. Why should I be? Oh! 
Mom, what are you doing here? Is it because of how you think you might look? Because I actually can't remember the last time I've seen you eat. <laughs> you look good. We should shoot wider next time. See more of that killer body. I thought he really liked me. Now I know it was just a trick. He just wanted me to sleep with the other men. It made me feel like I wasn't just that girl who got abused by those men. The bar. It's time to get the landlady in. Who is it? Celebrity first cast landlady is Lucy Fallon. Lucy, the lovely boys. How are you? Hello there. Look at you just look natural. You look natural behind the bar. I am, and do you know what? I actually never worked in the Rovers either. Did you really? not? No. Have you never worked in a bar? I have actually, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's really why. Like double you action. Yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I know my way around a bar. <laughs> but remember, we did, we said that we, we haven't just got one, we've got two landladies. Now we can't have everybody here in the pub. So we've got our next landlady joining us by the magic of the virtual world. Sally Ann Matthews. Woo! There she is. Yeah. Look at all oh my. Adding a little bit more glamour. Look at the curtain. Do you like my showbiz background? Look that is at just that. gorgeous. That is camp as a row, just really ten we, pegs. Can I just say? Down here, you know, in the south. Me and Sal, Sal, we go back many, many years, right? Yeah. We go back to Oldham Theatre mm. Workshop days. Yeah, mm, 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 yes, right? <laughs> Oldham Theatre Workshop, and we both. I like to think we both achieved. I like. I now live in Charlie, and she lives in a house with gold curtains. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I've come that a just long looks way like you haven't taken your, like, take your Christmas decorations down. <laughs> that looks like them old it's tinsley things. They've been used for something else, I, I, I will I, I confess that. And I thought, this is a good opportunity. Bit of glitz. There's <laughs> also, Sal, despite the... Co I mean, obviously, we'll come to the Coronation Street in a minute, but you have a connection as well, with, and myself, with lovely Lucy. I know. Well... Obviously, Steve, I've known you for three million years. Yes, just Tom, about. <laughs> I've known for 15 years when yeah, I did yeah, right, Emmerdale. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Steve got in touch with me when Lucy Fafal got the job on Corrie and said, uh, my friend's joining the show, will you look after her? And I took her under my wing. And, and she's never regretted she it since. Unbelievable. <laughs> you are the reason why, why she's she just such a mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we blame you. What's the worst state you've seen her in then, Sal? What's the worst condition you've seen her in? Because she always oh, looks glamorous. A shocking state. Oh, she always, yeah, she this goes, is a violation. When she, when, when she decides to um, video call me at half past one in the morning drunk, and then she has got no recollection of it the next day. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, no I do that all the time. I need to start you learning to put my phone time. in a drawer and locking it away. I FaceTime <laughs> everyone. Right, well, your okay, so. breathalyzer on it. <laughs> yeah, 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 it does. <laughs> so, what we wanted to ask you while we're just sat here at the at the bar is because um, you are our first celebrity guest landlady. So, we want to know what's the name of your pub. Yeah, come on. So, I, what are you calling I your pub? I have actually given it some thought, and uh, being a, a ginger, I mean, I'm a bit greyer these days, but my <laughs> pub would be called the Ginger Gin Inn. Oh, oh nice. a little bit of oh, alliteration yeah. in there. It's yeah. not an easy one to ask for when you're drunk, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> it is really nice. <laughs> 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 uh, what about yourself, like Lucy? Mine would be called Fall On In. Oh, oh that is that good. It. That's oh, actually... That has improved a I've lot from the dress that. rehearsal. <laughs> 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 that has really improved. No, I've completely <laughs> stolen it as well. It's a complete steal. It was actually my uncle that made that up because my dad's made a bar, so oh, I, can't right. I can't take credit. I can't take credit. That is you called it the fall, the fall on. on in. Oh, Very good. Get it? On. Fall on in. They, Just fall on in and we'll drag you out. Yeah. You're the, the list uh, in... Yeah. Listerine. Oh. <laughs> Listerine. I'm sorry. Listerine. Funny that is funny. Just a, a pint of mouthwash, please. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so oh, brilliant. Terrible. Good one. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Right, what we are... Oh, oh, question Adam's, for the ladies. Question's already. Who oh, gets Adam. the most drunk on a night out, Sal or Lucy? Lucy. 
Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that. This is not real. That's not really even a question. Is it? It's just <laughs> me. In terms of drinking, I mean, I'll what... give her a good run for her money. Let me tell you that. Yeah, I know <laughs> you can. Yes. <laughs> to get you into that state, then, as we're at the bar now, what's your first tip? Well, on a night out, Sal, what are you drinking first? What, the, the bar's here. It's all yours. What are you What are you having, love? What are you having? I'm actually having oh. a vodka and tonic. Oh, oh, right, there you are. And this, I have to say, is a hair of the dog. Because I had <laughs> oh. quite a lot of Prosecco last night. Me Did too. You? <laughs> yeah. So, you, had a little uh, bit of a, you had a little bit of a company uh, Zoom uh, call last night, didn't you? Where you we all had, had a lot of fun. amazing uh, company Zoom last night. It was such fun. It worked oh. really well. So we lots played, of um, on your, um, um, on your social media. Is what, we, uh, is what we played last night. And oh, I wouldn't love to see that. Absolutely. It was fab. It was it was really good fun. It was they were all filthy, you know. When the show's like, there's lots of dudes on top. Yeah, I you can imagine that... Lucy some of the answers people were giving. I <laughs> know. Yeah, I, I would have loved to have been there. Because you called it the ginger gin, I thought you'd be more of a gin drinker than the vodka. There, you surprised well, me. I don't. Do, I don't drink gin because I used to drink gin and then feel like death warmed up the next day <laughs> and. I don't know how true this is, but I was told this, and I, I can't remember whether it's the, I think it's the fusel oils, and oh, in gin. Oh, have you been away Googling it, this? No, I haven't Googled it. I remember really <laughs> <laughs> then I did, actually, that's what I should have done. I should have Googled it, so I would have known exactly what I was talking about. But in alcohol, this, the fusel oils are supposed to kind of join and blend, but in gin, they go like that, and bash. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So that's where you get a bad head, and you... Some Feel totes and mosh. Yeah, I cry. Yeah. I so, cry a lot, yeah. Jin. Yeah, you. Because no, it's not so mother's ruin for nothing. There so. you go, yeah. Lucy. What's your drink? Are you? Are you? A, or are you? Are I'm you just a. I'm just a bit like that, I don't know. Like, this is just, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> basically what I get. I can just say CBB's merged with some drink program. <laughs> Mr. Tumble don't merge. Drink, <laughs> drink vodka, not gin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mr. Tumble. <laughs> vodka, not gin. I, I don't be educational, Steve. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, highly educational. So does this whole show. It is a very educational show. Yeah. Sorry, Lucy, you were telling us. So I would probably just get like a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc straw. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the girl out of Blackpool. <laughs> Actually, that's naive. You're not thinking it through. A straw won't get to the bottom. That's bottle true. Bottle. Yeah, but then you tip with the straw. Oh, with, with the and it goes all the way yeah. over it. And then it just likely to do that as well. Yeah. yeah. So I've done that. Throws up or falls asleep, one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing up is my speciality. What was the leaving party like? Did you have a leaving party oh, when the... you finished at Corrie? What was that like? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Great. Well, she had two. So uh, we, had a, we had a little That's mini one, greedy. didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. had a little mini one. We and did. we we t we took over and emptied a karaoke bar in Manchester. <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> we really it was so What, because of the we, singing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of insisted on singing every single song one after the other. And so, what was your song? Up. What was your song of choice? Oh, I think I did My Guy. Did you? Oh, oh classic. classic. Go, always classic. go classic. Did, always go classic. I remember classic. Tina doing Proud Mary. I did Alanis Morissette, Iro Ironic. Oh, oh yeah. that's a belt. That's my, You're a good that singer, is a banger. Though. Steve, don't. No, you do. Well, well, don't we you know. dare <laughs> try and get me to sing. I know what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, no, what was, this, you didn't, you didn't, what was the, game, the, the show you were on last year? Uh, well, you did you, you, you were singing when she oh, said, yeah, the Anita. Anita thing, yeah. That was beautiful. Steve, thanks. It was. <laughs> she doesn't sound like that until it's in the morning. Let me <laughs> Isn't it ironic? We <laughs> were singing that. Anyway, you're singing. Oh, that night, she got so drunk. And then she decided to just leave, left me with her bag, her coat, all her leaving presents, and she's just gone. Back door boogie. See ya. Back door boogie. The back door boogie. I, See you later, guys. Yeah. Have, you still, have you still got all her presents in your house then? What, did, what happened to the well, presents? Well, I should have done. I should have <laughs> got them back to her. I did get them back to her. You did. Uh, one more quick question. Um, uh, one more quick question, and then we'll retire over to the tables. Um, so you've been to the pub, you've had a few, they've thrown you out, everybody's been there. What is your go-to snack of choice to either kind of soak up the booze? To ferment overnight. Yeah, yeah, something that's just going to make you... Mm. Are you going to fall asleep with I, it on your face, on the sofa? I don't really do... I don't really do late-night eating. 
Oh, to be honest, I just, I just drink on through. Just keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Straight <laughs> through to the fry up in the morning. Do you take your final drink to yeah. bed with you? Is it? Yeah. Are oh, you yeah, that kind exactly. of? Well, a better question would be to how do you get oh, red, how do you get red wine stains out of a, out of a blanket? <laughs> You just uh, you drink uh, colourless liquid. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 Go on, what's that your no food of choice? Um, Chips, cheese, gravy. Oh. All together. Oh. Proper northern lass. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What's cheese yours? and gravy, mm. Cheese and gravy. I'm a... I, well, you know, because we've both ended up in a burger place several times after pantomime. <laughs> yeah. I said, I, yeah, I think I'm probably greasy, but I, I would say kebab. But I think I've, I've matured, and I think I've matured like a fine wine myself. Yeah. Oh, I definitely and I'm not a kebab not lad anymore. I'm not I've a kebab lad matured. anymore. I could still smash it. I kebab. have never oh, had you a know kebab. You know, a battered sausage. <laughs> 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 what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> We're not using nicknames tonight. We didn't say that song. We did say, we said, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's try and keep it, let's try and keep it as formal as possible under the circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm I, I'm straight for straight for the kebab. Yeah, yeah, I'm all about the kebab. <laughs> there's, there's another oh, thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's, 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 that's another thing we said we wouldn't go mentioning as well. So, uh, but uh, thanks for being that. Anyway, more of this filth and some more questions to our lovely yeah. landladies after this little commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself down to Country Style Meats for all your meaty goods. It's certainly where you'll find Dick Van Trench getting his sausage. In fact, he loves the place so much it inspired him to write an album for all you carnivores out there. It features something for everyone from sensational beefy ballads to lamb hot pop classics to get your feet a tackle. Chicken tikka, you and I know. Go together like lamb and ham and gammon and liver and kidney tongue together forever. Pork this way, pork this way. I wanna hold your ham. I wanna hold your ham. I got stew, babe. I got stew, babe. So, what are you waiting for? Get on down to Country Style Meats and fill your fridge with a few pounds of top grade, high quality protein. And maybe you can pick up Dick's album while you're there. In the bargain bin, in the till. Or perhaps it's been moved back into the storage room. You may just have to ask for it, but there's plenty left. Come on down and find out for yourself. Because we know everyone who enters the shop has to leave it. And we're confident that Every time you go away, you take a piece of meat with you. Cheers! Cheers, 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 everybody. I hope you're Welcome all having Cole. fun at home drinking. Thank you. Oh, dear. I think we should chat Coronation Street now, don't you think? Do we have to? Well, I, I think... It's the wrong be... side of the Pennines, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you, I mean, Sal, filming right now must be a, a strange experience. I mean, you're, you're having a bit of a break, though, aren't you, at the moment? We are. We, we've got a... Uh, we've taken a pause just so um, they can make some adjustments to sets. They're going to be rejigging uh, where sets are, taking some down uh, and making things and adjusting some departments. So we got enough, thankfully. So I'm just I'm sorry, bank. we might, might have just missed the beginning of that, Sal. You're saying that you're on oh. a little bit of a two-week filming pause at the minute, aren't you? Yeah, we're on a two-week pause just so they've got some time to just make some adjustments in the building. And thankfully, because we banked enough episodes, we won't run out. Uh, and so, yeah, we've got this time off. So we've done one week and we've got another another week off. And it's rained. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, can I ask, as an, I'm the, I feel like a little bit of an outsider because you're like the 
in a soap club. Do you have a soap club? It's such a great is name, there, Steve. Is there, it's so cool is there, to be part of. Tell me, is there an in a soap club that I don't know about? <laughs> an in a soap club? It, yeah, well, you have your awards. You know, they always, you always, is there like one of the soaps that you don't well, you know what, bother with? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because you see, well, own, there's only you one that's south, isn't there? But they have the soap awards. There's loads of different soap awards, and I know there's various soap awards out there, right? Mm -hmm. When they have them big awards ceremonies, you all get together in London in the olden days when we could get it back together. Do you remember those days? Did, yeah. Was it like, was it like, was that, go on, you can be honest. Was, was Emmerdale like, <laughs> I'm not saying, well, I've not got When I was there, when I was yeah. there, Coronation Street was like winning everything. It was them and EastEnders all the time. Mm. And like, so I'd go up and I'd chat to a few of them. Some of them are great. And then some people you'd be chatting to them and just having a bit of a chat and you could see them like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And looking over your shoulders as if to say like, when do I have to get this boring person out of my way and <laughs> yeah. go and have a fun with all my mates over there. <laughs> yeah. um, but as soon as I left, Emmerdale won all the awards. So. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, trying to think of a connection. There is, there is actually a connection between yourself and Sal, right? Because yeah. Sal, even though you're in Coronation Street and we're in Coronation Street, in between your two, ba your two bouts on the street, you were in Emmerdale. Yeah, I was. I was with Tom then. Yeah, I had a brilliant time. I was uh, the world's best paid extra for a, uh, <laughs> eight nine months. Ain't that the flipping <laughs> truth? <laughs> Uh, We've got a little clip nothing. of you, Sal. We've got a little oh, clip of you with the late and wonderful Leah. Oh. Hello. Hiya. Not often you two indulge in an afternoon drink. Usually don't have the time. We just felt like treating ourselves, didn't we, love? <laughs> what can I treat you to? I'll have a glass of wine, please. I'll stick with your pint. Ah, oh, splashing out. <laughs> it's not fair. I feel like standing on this table and telling the world. We just bought a farm. Shush. You'll get your chance. Why do you really think so? We take once it all or shush. I don't buy all that privacy rubbish. I don't know. And I don't want to know. She can be as odd as she likes as long as she signs that farm over. Okay. This should be champagne. Well, you don't like the stuff. You wouldn't even have it at our wedding. Yeah, but it's what you do. <laughs> all right. When the solicitors have stopped messing around, we'll have a bottle and you can waste the lot. Good. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what, oh. he, he, is that your husband in it? Is that your husband? Yeah, yeah. He had, lo he had, lo he had locked down hair before it was fashionable, <laughs> didn't he? What was going on with that fringe? Oh, listen, I'm no well, one to talk about fringes. Nice and firm my skin was, though. <laughs> the oh, 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 oh. Yeah. That's the downside when you watch yourself on the telly, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Well, my God, for me, 35 years ago when I started in Curry and I go, oh, it was all up there. <laughs> when, when in the early years, Jenny Bradley, when you first left, right? When you first left, how did you? I can't remember. How did you leave? Um, because obviously you come back, so you were like. Uh, uh, she the first time she was having an affair with oh. a married man, mm. and uh, uh, and she did left. Did you not kidnap a kid? You ran away well. in disgrace. She kidnapped a kid. Didn't you kidnap oh, I kidnapped a kid. I, I kidnapped a kid. Uh, it's easy to forget something like I that. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, previously, when I came back the second time, I kidnapped a dog. I've got a, she's got a bit of a kidnapping thing. Why, yeah. Why do you just keep kidnapping people and things? <laughs> but all I'm thinking is, can, can, so can, 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 can we just get to the bottom of how you left Emmerdale? Because that was glorious. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, glorious. this is a good story. Oh, yeah, it was a really fun time, I can tell you. Uh, well, I just, I just signed for another six months and I'd done uh, two weeks of that contract and then I had two weeks off and I was at home and I got a phone call saying that the producer would like to have a chat with you. Uh, can you come to Leeds? And I said, well, I'm home. I'm, really? Do I have to come all the way up? And Anyway, in the end, it was decided the producer would ring me and she rang and I went, hi, Kath. And I went, oh, is it one of those conversations? And she said, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. They're just the writers. They don't know what to do with the character. And I went, oh, well, that's a shame. Oh, well, so when am I leaving? And she went, you've already left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I went, oh, my word. And she said, when you filmed that scene, when you were saying bye, have a nice day to Pearl on her day trip and you walked up the street, we decided that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so you just, you just basically walked <laughs> off. Yeah. Can I just? 
see you later. Have a lovely day. You know, did see you later. She gone. That's so good. Can I ask as an outsider again here? Right. Mm. How much of you the... are such an outsider? I am yeah. such an outsider. You are not in our what club. Are you doing here? Get out of this pub. <laughs> Next yeah. week we've got a comedian guest, and we'll talk about comedy as a little in club. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can I ask? Right. Do you, do you get your script? So you shouldn't get posted. To, do, you, do you have any idea what's going to happen to your characters, or do you just for you example when you left? I mean, you were probably. I mean, you walked. You went off to London, didn't yeah. you? When you left. Yeah. Sal, you walked off into the hills in Emmerdale, and you, you must have been sad and got your script and just gone. Right, here we go. Oh, hey, yeah, crack on, book that holiday to Antigua, darling. Book that holiday to Antigua. Just got me script. For, hit with a brick. <laughs> hit with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> what a minute. Make it Butlins. Make it Butlins. <laughs> what was it you said? Didn't you say something? I said, I, I said, I am indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's not an advert... Please, please tell me you said it with an Arnold Schwarzenegger accent. If, I, if that's not an advert for the Marvel Universe, I don't know what is. Get MCU on the phone and send them that clip. I am indestructible. <laughs> And then you die. Yeah, and then I die. <laughs> Straight away. You should have just at least put some underpants on the wrong side of your trousers before you did that. <laughs> yeah. What is it? But that was in a live episode. So, like, if I'd have just opened my no, eyes at the end and got up. Yeah, did I could have. I could have literally not <gasps> have died. I yeah, could have just gone like. It. Oh, it didn't hurt. No, it's all right. <laughs> I'm no, it's fine. I'm alive. Just a scratch. <laughs> I'm alive. Listen, that must be terrifying. To the, the live episodes. But I, I would imagine the most nervous person in that was the bloke who threw the brick. Imagine missing. He didn't throw it. Did he not? He stood behind me absolutely clubbing oh, me around. Right, well, that's <laughs> why. I bet the script it said throw. He went, I keep missing. Can't honestly, I'm too yeah. nervous. My hands like that. For what did he you killed you, Tom? Uh, um, I uh, attempted to rape my uh, long-standing girlfriend. and she Welcome to break. our fun yeah. evening in the pub. <laughs> 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 shall, we, shall we talk Happy about Sunday? Let's, let's chat about the sex trafficking now yes. with Lucy, shall we? I was going to. Oh my <laughs> word! What is it? Can we keep it light? Yeah, let's move off me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, Lucy, why don't you yeah. tell us uh, well, w- what about your time on Corrie and. Uh, oh, don't come I'll on. cry. It was literally the best five years of my entire life. Mm. Uh, tell us about getting the job in the first place. Because oh, yeah. I mentioned earlier about, you know, you were in Panto. Yeah, and you? I had to miss a day. Do you remember? I do remember. <laughs> and if, if Miss Kate Hill, the award winning Kate Hill, choreographer of the Pantomime's Watching, well, embarrassed her now because she wasn't going to give you the day off. She went, she came into the dressing room going, Steve, Lucy wants a day off for an audition, but I've said it's a Tuesday and we've got two shows. She can't. I'm going, it's a two shows. Day. Sure did. So he was gonna I said, step in. I said, well, what's the audition? She went Coronation Street. I went, let her have it. Let her. <laughs> but but initially you didn't think you got the part. No, somebody else got it and then and then I got it. It's crazy, really. <laughs> because she'd lied, she lied, lied about her age. age yeah. Have you ever have you seen her since and just gone? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever bumped in? No. Never bumped into her? No. no she knows no. where you live though, like, yeah. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just, change just my address. Just be very cautious, that's all I've I'm got a lot of fitted, don't worry, just in case. <laughs> so you had, <laughs> fi- you had five years on Curry. I did, yeah. And it was right. a great five years. It was a really great You had great some amazing storylines. Yeah, You I won uh, an NTA, did you win? Yeah, was it an NTA? I won an NTA. Best Actress. Something like that. Yeah. And the soap award you won, didn't you? Well, and the yeah. soap yeah. awards were well, literally... I you were just uh, yeah. You were you're like, oh, oh I know, I'm going to have shelf space for all these <laughs> yeah. awards. God, I need a bigger house. <laughs> I came third. I came third. Oh, <laughs> Just on to I came third. Hey, that's one of my soap awards. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a bronze medal? I didn't even get a medal. <laughs> Do you know what? Can I tell you genuinely? I phoned my mum up after Britain's got to the final and she says, oh, well done, well done. What do you get? I said, I don't get anything, Mum. I came third. What do you mean you don't get anything? I said, well, there isn't a prize for third. She went, well, I've never heard anything like it. <laughs> I've never heard anyone not getting something. I said, it's not, it's not a church raffle, Mum. <laughs> it's a bottle of wine. Exactly. It's not the Tom Baller at the yeah, Christmas yeah, fair. Yeah. It's some chocolates that weren't eaten this Absolutely. year. You can take them home with you. Um, but, um, go on. Lucy, we're going to say, she's, she, Beth, the character... Bethany. Uh, we, Bethany. Bethany. Bethany Platt. Bethany. Bethany. <laughs> um, we've, we've got a little game, haven't we? Where did she go? Where did she go when she, she left? Go? She went to London when she left. And how long ago was that? A year ago. It was a year. Well, a lot can happen Ooh. in a year, She's isn't it? She's been doing a lot during the Absolutely. supposed lockdown. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're all, we're all stuck at home. We can't travel between, oh. um, you know, zones or yeah. cross county lines. Bethany Platt, Where she's been she? in there and everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. to find out. We're to find out. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute before, before we do it because this. I was this, building up to a right good I know, intro. I know it was good, <laughs> but it would be an me to forget we our sponsor. We've literally pissed it all over me. It, 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 we've got to mention our sponsor of this because our sponsor of this little clip 
Each week, right, is the Bin School Interiors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, so really I'm always good for a voiceover, me. Here it is. Fit, I'll tell you what, my blind. I'll just tell you, can I tell you a quick story about my blind? I've got one of these roller <laughs> blinds, and what they do when they roll like that, they, 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 they're like a normal blind, but when it rolls, right, it becomes like, Light and then they go dark because they overlap. It's beautiful. But what I've been oh, describing I've got to one of them. Do you know? Have you got one, Sal? Aren't they yeah, good? Yeah, they are really, really good, aren't they? Like a double layered blind. It's a mi- This I've, is thrilling. I, well, <laughs> it's educational because I'll tell you, Sal. You'll appreciate this. You can have a bit of privacy, can't you? You can have it. It can be yeah. semi-private oh, or fully private, good. depending on what. Yeah. And also, I've been teaching my kids how, what, what it used to be like with the internet downloading pictures. And I get my wife to stand yeah. outside. <laughs> yeah. She stands outside like that, <laughs> right? And then Stay. I slowly unravel it, and it comes up in sections like and slowly reveals her, just like a yeah. 1990s computer. <laughs> like, the, like them pens. Like the pen, no, no, not quite like the pens. <laughs> yeah. Not like the pens you got in Blackpool. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, now Tom, do Can you I see this thing? Yeah, but so thanks to Brins- Brinsco Institute. Hopefully, anyway. hopefully, you haven't turned off during Steve's talking about <laughs> how they're doing. They're off buying blinds, I'll tell you now, and curtains, <laughs> and other I'm, soft furnishings. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Sal, no, are you ready? Oh, I am. Yes, I'm Sal, ready. are you ready? Lucy, are you ready? I'm ready. Right, right. Okay, right then. The Thank game. you, Brinsco Interiors. Let's play. Where's Bethany? Where is she? First one. Where is she? Oh, Lucy, now where there is she? she is. There she is. Can you see that, Sal? Can you see? I can see you, but I, I can't see who those people are. Where, am I looking at oh, the don't, plane? You don't have to <laughs> talk about <laughs> the people. You don't have to talk about people. Name them from left to right. <laughs> what city is that? <laughs> what city is that? It's New York, isn't it? Uh, 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 <laughs> that you got is, off to a good start. That is London. Oh. That's, of course, <laughs> where you started your journey. That's you. That's you hanging out in Greenwich, yes. It does, I don't feel like that looks like London. Yeah, that's that's the, the view of the city from geography. Greenwich. Right, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Where, where are you now? Oh, I'm, I'm now in, I'm, I'm in there New York. There she is. Now you're in New York. Next now she's hanging like, out. Loving Trump life Tower. in New York. Loving life in New York. Hope you're playing this at home, people. Oh, my God. Paris, Paris. Blackpool. Oh. Blackpool. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> really lost your opportunity there. <laughs> I did, it was, it. Yeah, Blackpool. Blackpool. Can I just say, to stick up for the Blackpool Tower, right, it's way better than the Eiffel Tower. They don't have a jungle gyms or a circus. No. Just saying that. Hey! <laughs> Now she's in Paris. Oh, now she's in Just go back to that photo, Jim. Yeah. What's that in front of the Blackpool Tower? Yeah, let's move on quickly. It's a comedy what? carpet. I'm on. The, I'm on. The, the, there's a little space for a statue. That's all I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> that is the comedy all carpet right. in front of Blackpool Tower. And it's got all the famous comics yeah, yeah. that have played Blackpool over the years. Comics. And the, the shock and horror of it all is that our very own Steve Royal veteran of the Blackpool Grand Theatre is not on that comedy You are carpet. joking. So if we want to start now, a campaign to make a difference <laughs> I in this man's life, that, oh, I'm we can do well. that through the power of the me. internet. We can make that happen. That is shocking. Mm. It is shocking. That is shocking, actually. Just get a shot. Even a bit of shag pile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I'll, just I'll, lie down, I'll draw around sharpie, you. Yeah. Bernie, Clif- <laughs> Bernie Clifton, the man over the ostrich, he has the best line. He says, I'm on the underlay. This is a good line. Um, Next one. Where, where's Bethany? Where's Bethany? Now? Where is she now? Oh, she's. Oh. Oh, you Queen see. Vic. Well done, oh, Sal. Oh, Very I good. Sal, the Queen Vic. I'm like, where's that? Mm. <laughs> is she here? Get out, my Matt, pal. Sal. Always looking for another soap to win to. That's yeah. our Sal. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've done the East End spin off, so they, I, Hollyoaks is really the only one I haven't done. Well, oh, you know, wow. you know right, there right. is still time, love. Yeah. yeah uh, have we got any more? Have we got any more, Jim? Did we, oh, no, this Where is Where is she? I she's like this. In, she's at Hogwarts. She's oh, getting look at her. Give me that picture to frame. Look at her hanging out. She's Just got pop a little, little first on that one. Any others? Is that where you in Gryffindor? Oh, my God, she's in the cast of High School Musical. Yeah, but what's the school? What's the school? What's the school? Oh, oh God, no! What's it called? I'm <laughs> oh, really <laughs> eating. Answers on a postcard. Isn't I've got. Don't ask me. <laughs> I've got no idea. It's East, Smith would East, know. East or West it, Side? East High. Something. East it's High. I think it is East High. <laughs> Pig, pig, oh, is it pig sty? If there's anybody watching this, okay, right. not someone, anymore. Someone will mess you straight. Oh, now, do you know where that is? No. Oh, now that is the new Marvel uh, TV program that's on Disney at the moment. That's called Wonder. Oh, is that Wonder Vision? Yeah, it's really oh, good. She is really getting about. Is it? She, she is. Yeah, she no, is. Just, that's it. Yeah, I'm and I think we've got one more, haven't we, Jim? Oh no, oh, two more. Oh, oh. With Bridgerton. Oh, oh, you've got clothes on. You've got clothes on. You can't have been in it. I hope she ends up getting. 
I'm with that guy. <laughs> the Duke. Who hasn't? <laughs> even I, even get, I've got a chance with him. She needs to sort her hair out first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and final one, Here where is go. she? Look at that. What, what is it? Is it the bay? Yeah, <laughs> it is the bay. It's the bay. I'm oh, glad she's got more. a job. Come on, Bethany. Well, well, well done, Bethany. Full marks to Jim. To be fair, that well Jim and his uh, amazing ability to operate. We were going to play Where's Bernie Sanders because you'll have seen all those memes oh, that have yeah. been flying around where Bernie, with Bernie and his mittened hands <laughs> yeah. being stuck on everything from uh, Gangnam Style to uh, The Ghost. Uh, pottery clay scene so we thought we'd play our own little version of where's bethany Where Platt? Bethany? but we're also going to play Very other good. games other bar games aren't we as well each week and we've got a great game for you because we want to discuss about your most recent adventure which was <gasps> rowing the length of, of this the, country uh, yeah that's mental isn't it really when you think about it rock the boat don't rock the boat yeah whatever you do don't rock the boat don't rock it don't rock the boat yeah tell us about not rocking that boat Go on. so um yeah so we basically had to row from cornwall to scotland um none of us could row ever i had never rowed before and um we some of our rows went up to 36 hours uh we rowed for 36 hours 36 Yes. And how, many, how many miles were you like rowing over that time, and how many was in the boat? So there's four people in uh, people. There's four people <laughs> in this boat, yeah. and it's um, a race. So the whole thing is a race, um, and yeah, I don't actually know the miles. I think we covered like over 500 miles or something like that in the whole time, not in one go. <laughs> yeah, but that's the way you do it as well, because you go like that, don't you? Yeah, the, the yeah. And you've never rowed before, had you? No, never, never. What was your biggest shock? You're about amazing. It? It was, wasn't it, Sal? Thank it was. You. Yeah. Um, the biggest, well, because I've got a massive phobia of sick, massive. I think we all have. I'm not anyone, do you know anyone who's <laughs> no. really into it? I'll tell no. you what I, I'll tell you what I want to do. There's times you do it, Lucy. No. Oh, no. <laughs> if anybody <laughs> wants to vomit, vomit on me. I love, love it. it. I love it. So Can't get enough of it. that chunder. <laughs> so, no, but I really, really panic. It. Oh, God, I honestly, it's awful. And um, I think the, the worst thing was on our first row, that we did because we hadn't obviously done a full row where it was like 36 uh. hours and our first row was 36 hours oh. and Kimberly Wyatt who's a pussycat doll and myself were throwing up I think Kimberly was throwing up for about 10 hours I was throwing up for about eight. Oh um, my yeah, word. It was I mean great horrible. for the diet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. keeps you trim. That's yeah. what I mean. I can't condone that kind of activity. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 exactly. <laughs> but, uh, it, was, it was people throwing up and, and peeing shitting. in the bucket and... Oh, yeah, that was the, the toilet in the bucket. The... Was, it was oh, Craig Charles. Why? Like, basically oh, yeah. shitting his guts out in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> it was, just was that just at the back of the boat? <laughs> yeah. I mean... And it was, it was within an hour. No, because I was more. on the other boat. It was within an hour. He was throwing up and shitting. <laughs> oh, are you someone like that? Are you, you're, are you just yeah, you're trying to shut that out? And then you're rolling like that, and all you can hear is, oh, oh, no. oh Did no. you, you see, if I was on the toilet, I'd try and coordinate with the strokes. So every time you heard him going, I'd go, Hur! 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 That's how I, that's how What about then? Then you just chuck it in the sea? Yeah, chuck it in just, the sea. So somewhere in the Irish There's Sea. There's a little Lucy Fallon. <laughs> I bet it's an ever so little dainty little one, Dad. <laughs> it's a little... Well, I don't know. What, what? <laughs> if there are any fishes, can I... Fishes. High, <laughs> fishes with the fishes. <laughs> that's another series you can do. Yeah, that's your next programme. Yeah. Fishies with the fishies. <laughs> <laughs> Just got hang out back, Phil. This, this is really plummeting now. Yeah, it no. really is. We were getting education from Sal a short while ago, and now we're talking about pooing in the Irish yeah. Sea. Oh, dear, dear. So we're going to play a little bit of a bar yeah. game with you. Yeah, which is... Um, and uh, this is a game that uh, was we played the last time we were in a pub together, yeah. actually, which was went with our, our previous pantomime company back in 2019, mm. Christmas of 2019. So one of the last times we were in a pub, we played this ridiculously stupid game, which, oh. Sally, you're going you're gonna to be lucky enough to miss out on this because you're not here in person. But but we'll come to you though, Sal, because we've got a very special question while we set up for this. This is good. I'll tell you though, Lucy, it will test exactly what you put, were put through on that boat because okay. it's going to te test your ability. All, to, your, all, clen all your clenching clench your skills. And your aiming as well, right? <laughs> so we'll come to that. You go and take yourself over right, to the then. bar area. In the meantime, Sal, we did ask. Yeah. We did ask you to bring to the table, to the pub, bring to the pub oh, yes. a, an item or items uh, that you could do a show and tell for us all. Yes. So what, what have you brought? I've actually brought two items. And wow. uh, the first one is um, 
Show us the left hey. one first. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. You don't know, James. Hang I'm on. sorry. No. <laughs> right, you, but what's the first? <laughs> anyway, the first item that I have to tell you about is something that I've uh, is, is is I've needed today is a Lloyd's Pharmacy rehydration sachet. Uh, this is also something that you would take if you were on that boat and you were pooping a lot and being sick. But actually, this is really good for hangovers. Because it gets all puts all the salts back in you, so um, I I had this today because last night, as I said, uh, I drank quite a lot of prosecco because we were doing our game. You seem to have disappeared. I can't hear you, Steve. Oh, I can't hear you. I was going to say I, I didn't realise you. you is, this, is this a plug for? Are you an influencer now? <laughs> no, I'm not an influencer. <laughs> Someone I told you I'm educating you on alcohol. You're like myself. You oh, just turned, I know that you're just in in a certain age bracket now that we're starting. That, whereas Lucy's flogging probably diamonds and jewellery and yeah. perfumes and stuff. You're going, Here I am with get my this, it proper gets you moving. <laughs> <laughs> no, What's your other item? It's not to get you moving. Oh, it's other. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I to drinks. rehydrate you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and so I had that because I had a lot of Prosecco last night. And the reason I had a lot of Prosecco last night was we organised a cast Zoom, as I said, and we were playing our version of Blankety Blank. And it was called. Oh, that's a good. I like it. <laughs> and so, and so, you didn't get a blankety blank checkbook and pen. You got a fuckety fuck coaster and mug as prizes. <laughs> and I made them. I'm loving it. They're beautiful. I, I yeah. think there's a market. There's a market for that. Fabulous. Is. I think that's gonna. That's got Etsy store written all over it. That has. Brilliant. Uh, right. Yeah. So everybody who took part gets one of those. Thank you, Sal. Sally Ann Matthews, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with you very shortly, but it's over to the side of the pub to my good friend, Mr. Lister now, with the party games. Okay. We're, we are all up with our time slot for the evening, so this is where it all starts to get a bit ridiculous. <laughs> We're going to now play a game. <laughs> now, some people who are watching, they'll remember this game for some of the parties <coughs> that we used to play. Now, you've got to carry a coin along, <laughs> along the walkway of the pub and then drop it into this pint glass. But you've got to carry it hands free. So we've all got our own coin and we're going to take our turns individually. We're going to have one go each and you've got to drop the coin into the pint glass by just carrying it in between your butt cheeks. <laughs> so, all right. so one of us demonstrate first. Hey? So Lucy knows what she's doing. Yeah. So don't want me to demonstrate first? Yeah, yeah, well, please. you can, have, you can okay. go first. You right, go first. Okay, would you mind to give me the social distance yes, I will. I will. Go to on. stick a coin in my buttocks? Okay. I mean, nobody and does it like you, Steve. No, I'm clenched now. I'm going to do it. I, I don't know why, but I've become quite camp during this one. I'm going to walk like that, quite nonchalantly towards the vessel. I'm choosing a sideways stance. <laughs> Oh! 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 So, so, close. Close. so close! So close! <laughs> now, don't forget, you can actually, excuse me while I just oh, insert no, said wrong. coin, um, <laughs> uh, you can play along at home. Yeah, feel free. If you've got a coin in the house and a cup. And trousers. Then, you know, <laughs> yeah. give What's a coin it? to your child and get it to stick a coin up his butt cheeks. The and drop it. What are you walking <laughs> like? I'm walking like I've just shot myself. Just do that. You're proper Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh! <laughs> right, Lucy, this wish, is your moment of I glory. I wish you'd right. I am indestructible. I am indestructible. <laughs> Get that there. Right, Get let me just there. lodge it up there. <laughs> <laughs> lodge it. And gone. Oh, right. Don't okay. just stand there, man. Give a go a hand. of glory. <laughs> Chance of glory, at least. Oh, oh, I'm really scared. <laughs> Sal, is this what she looked like on that night when she left? Jesus, yeah. Oh, my God! Yes! Oh, genius! I see what you did. You see, but we, our mistake was... we have been we, we use our back bombs. I use my front. <laughs> <laughs> it makes all the difference. <laughs> Wrong hole. <laughs> we are going to be back straight after this little video with our final song and wrapping up. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs>
Hello, Lycra lads. What are you up to today? Was that noise your stomachs? Are you hungry? Well, you better go shopping then. Lenny, don't you need a bag? Oh, you are clever. I wonder how Larry is getting on with the big shop. Is that everything? All right, we, <laughs> we are nearly <laughs> out of time. So what we're going to do, we're going to pump the music out in a bit. So we want you to crank your TVs up. Let's all have a little bit of boogie to end the night. Let's be honest, when it gets to closing time, we all start wanting to start <laughs> get the disco going and have a little bit of a party. So we've got a bit of a classic out here. We're going to take it a little back to the 80s, to the time when Steve was out there just making it smooth oh, on the dance making floor. the moves. But before we go, we've got to say thank you to everybody. We want to say thank you and a big bye to our lovely Sally Ann Matthews. Thank bye you, Sally Ann Matthews. Hope this goes well at the Ginger Gin Inn. Woo. Thank you also to the wonderful Black Bulls and Lucy <laughs> Thanks to our sponsors as well, Brin School Interiors. Cheers. Absolutely. Thank you for sending in your pub photos. I'm really sorry that we've run out of time tonight. Um, we'll and do it next uh, week, keep won't them we? coming in and we'll bring some more uh, we'll bring some on screen next week. But thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> Is there anything I'm left I'm to you? I am about to say oh. <laughs> West End, you know, it's been in West End and everything. I'm about to just keep waffling now until we get to the thing. Crank it up, Jim. Come on and sing my song. How long are we gonna do it? All night long. All night. Long. All night. How long are we going? All night long. Except we're finishing in a minute. Oh yes. All night long. All night. Oh yeah. All night. All night long. Come on, bit of dad dancing. Bit of dad dancing. Steve, can you do a slut drop? People uh, dancing <laughs> on the street. <laughs> right, let's finish this first, Lucy. <laughs> See you, Lucy. She's so foolish. Let me drink. You send the girl to sea. She Wild comes back a sailor. <laughs> And we'll let the music play on, play on, play, play, play on, play on, play on, play on, play on. I feel it in your heart, I feel it in your soul. Oh, go on, son. Let the music take control. We go on to party. Come on, I'm going. Fiesta, forever. Your turn now. Come on and sing. Oh, oh, all night long. All night. Oh, come on, Lionel. All night. All night long. All night. Thank you so much for watching. Hi. Steve, who's joining Thank us next much. week? Well, we've only got Mr. John Thompson. Oh, yeah. Here's John Thompson. But the, and, and he, was in, he was in the mass singer, wasn't he, last week? He was. Yeah, John Thompson yeah. from The Fast Show is going to be here next week. So make sure you tune in. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you then. Have a great week. Thanks for joining Stephen Tubblock in. Woo!